Hi, this is Adriel uh, from PopShaw. I wanted to do a quick little video on how to use Irfin View. It's this uh, handy little application that you can use to edit images. Now, if you're on the blog post, um, you can follow along with some of the details from it. If you're not on the blog post, you might want to open it up just to have some of the details in the background um, because I am just going to show usage of the app and I'm not, I'm not actually going to talk about why you'd want to set some of those settings. So take a look at the blog post if you're, uh, you need a little bit of backup information. The first thing I'm going to do is a screen cap. I have a little shortcut to Urban View down here in my start menu. Some people like to put it as a desktop icon. Do whatever you want to. I've got it as uh, in the tray at the bottom here. And when I get it going, what I'm going to do is uh, it started. I'm going to press C for capture. That's going to bring up this capture dialog. I'm going to click on, yeah, this desktop area. That's, that's what I want to capture. Um, show the captured image, the main image window. Yeah, why not? Uh, include the mouse cursor. Sometimes if you want to take a, a screen capture and you don't want your mouse anywhere on the screen, this is, uh, you might want to uncheck this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna really quickly take this. I'm gonna use a hotkey. You can automatically do a, a time delay if you want to. I'm just gonna use this key combination. I'm gonna see that it's control F11. So I'm gonna press start. It'll go away. Now I can bring up whatever I wanted to take a, a screenshot of, and then I can press those magic keys. In my case, it's control F11. And you can see that it's taken a screenshot. Now I can edit this uh, image however much I want to, and I can save it to the desktop. Next, I want to show how to crop an image. Now I have an image on the desktop here. It's just something really quickly I, I took with my camera phone, so it's not the greatest quality, but it'll, it'll do for, for what we're doing today. And what I'd like to do is just crop out this top draw sign here. I don't really need all this other stuff from our reception area in this image. To crop the image, select the, image, the area that you want. And keep in mind, you can always adjust it afterwards. You can adjust the, the, the verticals or the horizontals the way you want it. Once you've got what you like, then you can hit Control-Y, or you can go to Image uh, Crop. Is cropped here. It's somewhere. Is it under edit? Ah, oh, it's under edit. Sorry, there we go. Crop selection, control Y. So I'm going to press those keys, control Y. And you can see that it's chopped away the rest of the image, and now I'm just left with this uh, smaller cropped image. Now, I'm kind of going to do a combo here. I'm also going to resize it at the same time. We can see right now that it's 462 pixels wide. Now, if I were to put this into a blog post, I maybe, maybe that's a little bit too big. Maybe I only want it to take up half of the room or less. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this down. And the way I'm going to do that is by pressing Control R for resize. Again, you can also go to image, and I think this was in here. There it is. Uh, resize or resample. I'm going to press Control R because I like using the key the key combinations. They're a lot faster. And now I get to, to pick how I want to resize this thing. I'm just going to resize it based on the width because that tells me how much of the how much of the blog post area it's going to get. I'm going to go down to 200. You can see that the program automatically figures out what height it needs to be, so it's not going to be squished one way or the other. It's going to it knows uh, to keep that aspect ratio. That checkbox down here that says preserve aspect ratio, it'll keep it so it's not squished one way or the other. I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see that the image has been resized a little bit. Now it's a little bit smaller. That also helps with keeping the file size down. Next thing I'll do is save that image. You can go File, Save. Personally, I like just hitting the S uh, button on the keyboard. That brings up the Save dialog. I'm saving as a JPEG. Um, that's one of the uh, most common ones out there. Um, and that's pretty much all I do is, is I just save it as a JPEG and I'm, I'm going to call this top draw sign 2. I'm using that, uh, I'm using a different file name just in case I need to go back to that original uh, just to take a look or to um, edit it in a different way. And that's it. So that's editing using Irfin View. Um, if you have it set up to automatically open your images, um, you can also use it to uh, browse through multiple ones. Oops, I'm going the wrong way here. So you can, and you can use that with your left and right keys on your keyboard. So you can see there, it's, it's a really quick way of browsing through images. You can go full screen with Enter. If you get stuck in this screen, 
just hit escape on your keyboard and you'll go back to regular size. So that's a real quick demo. If you have any questions, just uh, shoot me a, uh, an email or, or put a comment on the blog post and I'll be happy to help.